Hello, my name is Elias Lopez, and I was part of the uh, Spring 19 CM7S class. So for my, um, for my uh, service learning uh, project, I decided to do it with the Dakota Eco Garden. And um, so in this, uh, this Eco Garden is uh, run by two people, Nancy and uh, Bill. And they're very nice people. Um, they're, they're um, I would say, elderly now, but um, they have a really good purpose. And that is to um, reduce the poverty issue that is here in Fresno. So I believe they have a really good mission. Um, some of the work that we did included stuff like uh, electrical. Uh, me and my buddy Anthony from my class were actually in charge of uh, running all the uh, wires from the light bulbs to the switches to the solar panels. And uh, that was a lot of work. And um, the other two members from my group, uh, Quincy and Jack, were in charge of painting the cabinets. So they were in charge of that. And... Um, Here's some videos just to show you some of the stuff that we did. Problem, because this thing has to spin onto the handle. Yeah, it'll be like that. So before I actually um, started working at the Dakota Eco Garden or volunteering, I mean, um, I already had a, some prior knowledge to the whole construction business and I knew kind of how to use some tools. And that came in handy when we had to do stuff such as make the uh, template for the switches. And um, use, we had to use a router and a chop saw, impacts, drills, uh, table saw. And uh, thanks to my prior knowledge that um, it really uh, like it really helped me um, not fear the tools and also kind of um, save us some time. Um, some of the some of the sustainability improvements that I noted were, uh, for example, the wiring in the house. Um, I believe the way we did it was very cheap, and um, I mean for short term, like I think it'd be a good idea. But I'm pretty sure Bill's idea of this uh, mini house was to uh, not only have it, you know, for like a couple of years. I'm pretty sure he wants to like keep using it for a while. And I just believe the way that we uh, wired everything was. Um, I feel like it's not going to last the, the, as long as it should. So I believe that could have been improved. But besides that, I feel like they use pretty good sustainability methods, such as the solar panels. That was a great touch. Um, they also use, um, for, the, for, for the floor of a bunch of their places, they use um, just um, the, the old... Um, crates used for trucks and um, they pretty much recycle everything um some of the most important lessons that i learned from the experience um one of the first ones was that um no matter how old you are as long as you have experience you're a great help i mean bill he's he's an elder now but if you see him work he knows everything he's doing he knows where he places everything and he's a he's a great help he Helped us a lot despite his age. Another lesson I learned was that you can't always be in the business for the profit. Sometimes it's just, sometimes you just have to work out of the greater good. And um, that was very important in this project because the whole um, Dakota Eco Garden is a nonprofit. And um, all their efforts go towards just res resolving this issue of poverty that Fresno has. And... Um, the last lesson I learned is that you can always learn, like, don't, don't go into a project thinking, you know, everything, there's always someone who knows something that you don't. And I think as long as you're willing to learn, you'll, uh, you'll do great in this business. So yeah, that was my experience as a Dakota Eco Garden. Thank you.